Hi, I'm Jed, I'm Axie's application engineer and I want to go over collet maintenance. Collet maintenance is fairly straightforward. If you've had a broken cutter in the past, make sure it hasn't damaged any of the teeth so you get a nice even pressure on the tool when it's uh, in the spindle. Make sure the fins are all clear, there's no swarf build up. And also check the nut, make sure there isn't any uh, obstructions inside there, build up of swarf, dust, uh, so it'll sit nice and comfortably on the, on the tool column. Here we've got some of the CNC router shop range. We've got the OZ26 and 34, and also the ER32s, 25 and 16. We've also got the collet nut, nut in a cone with the tool in. Here we've got the uh, tool cone, or holder, nut, collet, and router bit. Now to assemble these parts, take the nut and snap it over the collet and then screw the two parts, the cone and the, and the nut together. Before it starts to get tight, take your router bit and slide it inside. Okay, tighten it up a little bit, finger tight, and then drop it into the tool vise. Now, when starting to uh, tighten this up, do not put too much pressure on it. If you put too much pressure, the tool could snap whilst it's cutting. Okay, so just enough pressure, that's enough. To assemble the parts on a 5 horsepower LT spindle, take the nut onto the collet and place the tool into the collet. Screw it onto the spindle, finger tight, and now push in the lock button. Same principle as the HSD spindle, if you over tighten these it will damage the tool. So just enough 